Hey YouTube, what's going on? This is Chicago Sport Family coming at you with another video. And this is pretty much the big news out of today's NFL. First off, Cowboys don't make the playoffs again. Second, Chargers in the playoffs for the first time in I think three years. And once again, Bears lose, Packers in the playoffs. Let's get to the Bears first. Uh, this game, it, it was heartbreaking. I mean, it started out the Bears got up by a touchdown with a Matt Forte reception touchdown. Uh, Aaron Rodgers was able to bring it down the field. He had a couple interceptions before that, and they kicked the field goal. The defense played good, by the way, um, besides maybe that. I honestly think I'll, I'll talk about that later. But, um, yeah, he ended up uh, getting a, a touchdown to Randall Cobb. Uh, 10, 10 to 7. Uh, I can't tell you all the exact scoring. I know Randall Cobb had a couple touchdowns. Uh, Brandon Marsh had a touchdown. Forte rushed for two touchdowns. I want to say. I think he rushed for two touchdowns. Um, man, that sucked. I mean, I I predicted the Bears to lose. I just didn't think it was like that. Uh, the final play of the game was fourth and eight. Aaron Rodgers was able to hit a deep ball to Randall Cobb wide open. Let me tell you this: why this is not the Bears' fault, the defense. I mean, this is the Bears' fault. This is not uh, the defensive players' fault. This is Mel Tucker's fault. Mel Tucker, he was calling the right plays the whole entire game, except for that one that counted. I'm not a big fan of Mel Tucker, by the way, so I might be a little bit biased. But that you don't blitz on a fourth and eight. You play pass coverage. You play pass coverage on a fourth and eight. I don't know, guys. I, I'm disappointed because the Bears, the Bears, they had a chance. There was a crazy play where Julius Peppers knocked the ball out of Aaron Rodgers, and they didn't call it a forward pass. Uh, his hand, it was going kind of like that, and he kind of just hit the ball, and they called it a fumble. And Jared Boykin ended up picking it up and running for a touchdown. Now. Every defense in the NFL would have picked up that ball. James Anderson was right in front of the ball, if you look at the video. James Anderson was right there, and he didn't pick up the ball. I mean, most teams in the NFL, they'll, they'll pick up a ball, even if it's, a, if it's a for sure incomplete pass. They'll still pick up the ball. But they didn't. Jared Boykin ended up picking the ball and running in for the end zone. It was so it pissed me off so much, and the Bears that were able to come into the second half, and at one point they they got up 28-20, and then the Packers. That's all they scored. That, that was it for the Bears. It, it was disappointing. Oh, I don't want to talk about it. it. Looks like Cutler won't be back, um, which that isn't a bad thing. I want to. I mean, Cutler's not a proven winner. He's had one good year with Chicago. How long has he been there? Five years. Five years. You have. One playoff win in five years, and then in your whole entire seven, eight year career, you have only one playoff win, one Pro Bowl. This guy is not a quarterback should, that should even maybe get paid $25 million. Maybe. Because seriously, this guy has not proven anything. Maybe he'll be a good quarterback somewhere else. He needs to get out of Chicago. Mark Trestman needs his own quarterback. He needs to develop a quarterback because I like Trestman. Trestman's great. I mean, I think we need to get Matt, rid of Mel Tucker. We need to get rid of Jake Cutler. Keep everybody else and have Trestman draft a quarterback. Keep McCown. Maybe get a guy in free agency too. See what happens. Not Cutler. I don't. I don't want Cutler. I mean, I've always been a proud supporter of Cutler, but after this game, I don't know. I, I don't. I don't think I want him anymore. Um. Now, let's get to the, the Cowboys and Eagles game. This is kind of upsetting for a lot of Cowboy fans. I told you guys, I didn't think that you guys should worry about Kyle Orton. And for the first half, third quarter, he was doing good. He was doing really good. And then he threw that interception. Very Tony Romo-esque. Very Tony Romo-esque. It looked like Tony Romo back in the pocket throwing that interception right there in the fourth quarter. That's what it looked like. Kyle Orton has never been a clutch quarterback from his Chicago days. I didn't think he'd win, but I didn't think he'd lose them the game. I thought it would be their defense's fault. Well, their defense stepped up today, a lot like Chicago's defense. 
But oh, that that sucks. That sucks. And the Chargers are in the playoffs. I am a big Philip Rivers fan, even though they shouldn't be in the playoffs because of that screwed up field goal that was not called. Uh, the three point field goal it wasn't called, um, and it probably showed up. And the Steelers should be in the playoffs because. But anyway, they got lucky. The refs didn't call it. Suck up, missed it, and they ended up winning. So hell, take it. I mean, I I'd rather see the. The, the Chargers in the playoffs. Anyway, I mean, I think probably the Chargers are a better team. Although that is debatable. I mean, they're, they're both having a good season, but I, I'm happy for Philip Rivers. He deserves it. I mean, uh, I think, I honestly think the Chargers can make a run. Tomorrow I'm going to make my playoff predictions. Uh, I, I like Philip Rivers in this Chargers team. They might be able to make a run. I'm not going to tell you if they will or not, because I'm going to make a playoff prediction video. But. Yeah, and in other news, coaching news, our first fri our first firing actually came on Sunday. They call it Black Monday, but we're starting early this year. And Rob Chenzinski was fired from the Cleveland Browns after only one season. And I bet a bunch of Raiders fans right now are thinking, thank God we're not the only ones. Um, the Raiders are known for getting rid of coaches, even though the Browns almost are just as bad. Uh, so who's going to be the Cleveland Browns coach? Who knows? Maybe promote Norb Turner, give him another chance. Who knows? Uh, but yeah, did this team four and twelve, uh, point two fifty winning percentage. They were fourth in the AFC North. I actually thought they were good at trying. They might have been the best trier in the NFL, which isn't saying a lot. So yeah, uh, you guys tell me what you think about the firing and all the games today. So yeah, everybody peace out.